cloud. All right, let me just pull up the email that has all the information in it. Good thing I don't open my email when I am on these calls because wow, it just whoop, fills right up. All right, so I was in a um, email conversation with Stephanie Pishko, who's here at MMHS, and she was saying that she's already starting to feel the, the Zoom um, tiredness and that being able to find things to do that kind of perk you up and give you a break, not only from tech, but just from, from your brain is something that she was interested in. So she had found a couple of resources and then said that she was going to spend some time looking for more resources if I thought that that would be helpful, which of course I said yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these. Well, I'll do a nice document after today because I have it's not all pretty for you yet. But what she's done is she's given me a list of one, two, three, if I go back a page and I go here, four, five, six, seven, like 15 different sites that allow you to have some kind of break, either as a teacher or, oh, look at that, I have it, my eyes just poking up, sorry about that, um, as a teacher or with your students to be able to kind of um, break up the monotony of sitting in front of a screen, even though, of course, we're not supposed to do it all day. It's going to be more than we're probably used to. And when we're away from it, you're going to want that that downtime. So let's see a way I can do this. I am going to, it's 48, so I still have 12 minutes anyway. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share this, which is my email right now. And do share. And then I'm going to go and open up a new Google document. So I'm going to go to docs.new for a new blank one. Step Rex for her recommendations. And then I'm going to come in here and go back to my email. That's where I'm going. She's been awesome. So I'm going to copy what she's got. She said she even went outside at the high school last week and kicked a ball around with some folks. Um, if you're in the room and you get to do that, I'd love to just hear your thoughts on that, that chance to play while I glue vomit. There it goes. And then I have three more from her original one. She talks about how she's at the high school, but she couldn't find as many resources for high school. So she said this is actually excellent for elementary. Um, there's stuff in here on movement and being mindful, some games that you can play that allow for social distancing, just some great suggestions. And let me go back into the original email. And there we go. And then put that in there. And then we put it up top, comment, enter. And now I'm going to share this document. And it's going to get shared with, it's going to be anyone with the link can view. And then I'm going to copy the link and hit done. And I'm going to put it into the Zoom chat, which is, here, I am getting more um, comfortable with managing everything. Chat, there we go. And we want it to go to everyone in the meeting. So this is the link to it if you want to be able to visit it and save it. Right now I just have it as viewable, but once I get it prettied up, I can also change it like it's so that, so that it's similar to all the other Google Docs and we can add to it but I wanted to be able to share all the resources that she put in and thank her for the, the ability to share with everyone because I think that we'll all be looking for ways to be more mindful and to take a break and to interact in ways that are safe but fun. Um, look at you all hopping in here. It's very easy when it's this quiet to, re to remember that there's humans on the other end. Um, 
board teachers. That was the, um, I've sent, I've showed you a lot of board teachers videos. Games for ESL, all kinds of great ideas in here. So I thought that I would share that. And thank you to Stephanie, if you see her, tell her thank you. She teaches the bridge program here at MMHS. She's also the one that runs the, um, the mash be the trivia game that happens every week, which she started working here literally like days before the shutdown. So I think that's an awesome way to get involved. So stop share. It's 11.52. My screen was blurry. No. Hopefully if you can click on that link. Did I put the link in the chat? I did, right? You did. Okay. I think oh, there so, so see, I think some of the blurry was when you were going through the tutorial on Screencastify, there was a natural blur to the background of the Screencastify screens. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, in, the, um, in the editor you're talking about, right? Right, when you yep. said, oh, let me go through the tutorial and that was those pop-up boxes. The yes. background was- Was, still, was my movie. Out. Yeah. Yeah, my movie was- I don't know the if background. there was more blur than that. No, but I remember what, I think that that's, unless it was more than that, but yes, that was blurry. Yeah. And a couple people also still said the, the volume and the audio was poor and hard to follow. I wonder if, um, if you, if any of those people that are having trouble today, was it better on Thursday when I had my um, AirPods in? Because today I don't have them and I have the blower in here. So that's a question for, for the ages, but I'm, I'm gonna search high and low for those today at home because I find that it's easier for me to listen to when I have them in. I love my AirPods. All right, so we have, oh no, we, there's no session after this until one. So one o'clock is Google Sites and two o'clock was supposed to be Sean doing PowerSchool either one of two things are gonna happen and I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the second. He has um, a conflict in his schedule. So he was going to try and do a tutorial on a video so that I could play it at the two o'clock hour. I believe today was for Quashnet to learn PowerSchool or just to go over the settings in PowerSchool and tomorrow is for KCC. But Quashnet and KCC settings are very similar. So his second option is to just have all of you in tomorrow. So I'm gonna guess, I'll know more in probably the next session, which is at one to be able to say for sure, but there is a good chance that your two o'clock session will be a, not a session and you'll have a found hour. And then Sean will do both schools on, two, on tomorrow, which is not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Whew, all right. So it is 11.54, I am here till 12 o'clock online if you need me. But I'm not, I'm going to hit stop record because I think I recorded all that. <laughs>